Did you know that about 70% of young people feel lost and unsure about their future and that most of them are living in constant fear and anxiety? In an age overflowing with options and information, we are pressured and rushed to figure out our lives and jump on the race of success before it's too late. I have just turned 30 and if I look back at my life, there are many things that I wish I had known 10 years ago. But the biggest realization that could have spared me a lot of anxiety and depression that I had to go through is that it's all bullshit. There is no race for success and your life isn't doomed if you don't find success in your 20s. In fact, I would even argue that it is completely normal if you don't even know who you are when you are so young. Whether you are in your 20s or 30s or no matter how old you are. If you are one of those people who feel lost and aimless, I want to convince you in this video that society is lying to you. I want to show you that there is absolutely no reason to feel this way about your life and why it is completely fine if you haven't figured things out yet. Before we continue though, I want to ask you to press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy content like this. Your support would mean that I could monetize the channel one day so that I could put more time and effort in doing these types of videos. Thank you so much and let's continue. As I reflect on how I spent the past 10 years, I realized that for the longest time I had no clear meaning in life. No goals, no personal values and nothing to work on. I was basically drifting aimlessly in life and I had no idea what I really want. Everyone around me seemed to have it all. They knew exactly what they wanted and how to get there. I always wondered how does it come so easy to them? Is there something wrong with my brain? Am I a failure? These questions consumed me. I was constantly comparing my life to others and beating myself up that I don't have things figured out like them. As I grew older, I met many people who had life figured out and under their control. But as I got closer to them and knew them on a deeper level, the cracks started to show. They often felt as lost and unsure as I did, but knew how to hide it well from the world. And that was the one thing that I wasn't considering at all. I realized that I wasn't the only one feeling this way. Many young people do. And it is all caused by the constant pressure that society puts on us. Since we are young, we are bombarded with messages about the importance of achieving milestones by a certain age. Graduate by 22, get a high paying job, find a life partner, buy a house, etc. These different messages deeply influence our perception of success and self-worth as society sets these unrealistic expectations on us trying to push us to have our whole lives figured out in a short, limited period of time. All of that creates a sense of urgency and panic if we fall behind, making us constantly stressed and worried about the future. Social media amplifies this pressure by showing us the highlights of other people's lives, celebrating achievements, traveling, and living what seems like perfect lives making us feel inadequate. But these different snapshots don't show the full picture. They don't show the struggles, the doubts, and the failures that every single human faces. Just because you see people your age appearing to have it all together, doesn't mean it's true. Many people project an image of control and success, but deep inside, they might feel just as lost as you do. This is a big reason why midlife crisis happens. Many people realize that they have been living a life that they never truly wanted. It's crucial to understand that unlike what modern society constantly try to tell us, there is no strict timeline dictating where your life should be heading. Everyone's timeline is different and comparing our lives to others in that regard is pointless. Personal success and purpose are not defined by nonsense like age or meeting certain milestones, but by your own experiences and where those would lead you. You will have many experiences in life, some under your control and many others not so much. And all of these different experiences are going to help you figure out who you are and what you truly want. What I have shared with you so far isn't just something that I read in a book or heard other people talk about. It is something that I have lived through. My own journey is a perfect example that personal experiences and not societal timelines are what truly shape your path. But of course, this realization didn't come to me easily and without struggle. Just like many other people, after finishing school, I was constantly pressured by my family and the people around me to figure out my life before I get older and mess it all up. 
But at that age, all I wanted is to hang out with my friends and play video games. I wasn't thinking about my future. As I was 21 years old, I had already left my family and went on my own. And all of that constant pressure that I had been through made me feel really anxious and kinda hopeless that my life isn't going anywhere. And I was just wondering if I was destined to fail. For years, I couldn't make any substantial decisions in my life and I was starting to feel that it's becoming too late. I will never figure out what I really want. And that moment when I started to ignore what society and other people thought about success and purpose was when I started to focus on my own experiences and carve my own path in life. The past decade, I had experienced countless ups and downs. I had to move from different places, I lost many friends, and I fucked things up over and over and over and went through multiple existential crises. Through all of that, I started to reflect on many different aspects of my life and to understand myself better. It was slowly becoming clear what I enjoy in life and where my interests lay. That gave me a direction on how to change my life and work on myself. I started to try new things and build good habits. I was exposing myself to more and more new experiences and by that I was finding myself by working on myself. The journey was extremely messy but I had to trust that things will get better and eventually I will figure things out. I just had to do my part, take action, live the experience, reflect and repeat. If I didn't experience all the different shit throughout the years, I wouldn't have started with self-exploration in the first place. I would still be in that 21 years old mindset where I was just hopeless and lost. And no amount of comparing myself to others, seeking advice from friends or gurus on social media would have changed any of that. The only true thing that made me find my way was going through and reflecting on my own experiences. Understanding that life is not a race has been liberating for me. It is normal to take time to find your path and it is okay to feel lost along the way. Life is not a straight line but a winding road with many detours. Every single experience, even the ones that seem like setbacks, will contribute to your eventual growth and understanding of who you are. Always keep in mind and remember that society's timeline is an illusion. Focus on your own journey instead and experience your life. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.